This is going to be a very special four part solar installation covering all aspects of this fantastic solar opportunity we have here in this beautiful part of the world, North Yorkshire. We're just outside of Stokesley. Look at the beautiful countryside. Let's show you the roof. So as you can see, this roof is just crying out for solar and uh, we can't wait to get our hands on it to be honest. Uh, we're thrilled that this lovely couple we're working for decided to choose Alps Electrical out of all of the contractors that they had quoting for this system and uh, this, this new house that they built a couple of years ago is, is not shy of you know, mod modern technology. They've got a, a ground source heat pump and now they want a solar PV installed to match this wonderful house. So this is a uh, first of a four part uh, installation video uh, because there's an awful lot to go cover. We will go into detail uh, a little more uh, down the line about what we're installing and why. But for now, just to briefly explain, we are going to be putting in 44 Jinko Tiger 435 watt, all black solar panels all the way along this roof. There's going to be uh, four rows of 11, each on their own string. Um, and then we're going to install uh, solar edge optimizers as well. Uh, there's a Tesla Powerwall, there's a, a My Energy Zappy, there is two six kilowatt solar edge inverters, and uh, what else? Oh, a My Energy Eddy as well, solar diverter for the hot water. So, you know, the best of the best equipment as far as we're concerned, and it's an exciting project to be a part of. Be like an album cover that. <laughs> Right guys, as you can see, uh, we're making decent progress on the roof so far. Uh, it's about two-ish, something like that. Uh, it's obviously uh, middle of December, so we're not far off losing light. It's been a pretty dull day anyway, but nice and mild. So we've been lucky with the weather, really. It's not rained, even though it feels like it's threatened to all day. And it's actually warm enough. I'm in my T-shirt, I'm uh, quite warm. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're making good progress. We've got like the back half of the roof just to get the brackets in. But I mean, the, you know, the first couple of hours are the challenging ones where you've got to, you know, figure out where all the, um, all the rafters are and make sure you're getting your measurements absolutely bang on. Otherwise <laughs> you'll pay for it when you start putting the panels on. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm quietly confident we've got everything just right. Uh, we've decided to go with vertical rails and, and I did that in design. Um, I just noticed ever so slight undulation across the roof. Um, so I thought putting them this way would mean I can make sure the panel is absolutely perfect. Um, and also it would have meant eight full lengths, eight full runs of rail all the way along, which would have been a lot more rail. Um, so yeah, this should work a treat as long as my measurements are right, which I think they are. So we'll see how we get on tonight. I think, I think we, we'll, we'll have to stop when we lose light, obviously, but uh, for now, we're making good progress. Obviously, we've got to get these tiles down, get these last hooks in, get the tiles down before the night. Um, and we'll just see how many rails we get on, but probably mean coming back tomorrow. Got all the gear arriving tomorrow, the inverter, the panels, the, the Tesla power wall. Um, so yeah, made good progress. Right guys, it's the end of uh, day one. Uh, it's time for a, a beautiful evening walking shot uh, with me walking along this very long roof that we have uh, worked bloody hard on today. Um, my 47 year old knees, a testament to that. Um, but yeah, we've done really well. As you can see, we've got like all of the brackets on. Uh, all of the tiles are back down. They've gone down nice. It was great roof to work on, to be fair. Uh, and we're halfway with the rails, so um, we'll, have, we'll have the rest of them rails done in a couple of hours in the morning. Um, but yeah, we're losing light now, but uh, great day, 
great i'm happy with the progress so we'll see you tomorrow when all the panels arrive hopefully and we can get them on thanks for watching Well, good morning. Uh, this is day two of our solar install here in SEMA. And uh, so far, so good. It's only about half past nine in the morning. And uh, we've just managed to finish the rails on the roof, uh, which all look fantastic. Um, so we're ready to go really with the optimizers and panels. But I was worrying, because it was due to arrive today, I thought, when they're gonna come, you know, it said between eight and six, I thought, I bet they come at bloody half past five uh, and I'll show you down here in a minute how they got it. I, I was worrying about how they're going to get in with the lorry. And uh, I've been worried about it for weeks. Anyway, eight o'clock this morning, the driver rang me, I'm here. Pulled in with millimeters to spare. Uh, this is the entrance here, look. Pulled in. I mean, that probably doesn't do it justice, but my heart was in my mouth, but he made it look so easy. Best drivers in the world. So we've got all the gear. So here we've got, um, I don't know how many's in there because there's some more in the other pallet. I reckon there's probably about 30, 30 odd in there. Jinko solar panels. So we put them there ready to just take up onto the uh, flat roof there because that's the, that's the roof we're working on. Um, so yeah, we're going to just take them up there, but then we'll show you all the gear in here as well. Yeah, so we've got, uh, there's more panels here. We've got uh, the two solar edge inverters. One there, one there. Uh, that must be a box of bits. And then we've got a load of solar edge optimizers and the Tesla power walls just down there. We're gonna do a bit of rewiring in here because it's very old wiring. So he would like us to put some nice new uh, button lights up and sockets, but that's pretty straightforward stuff. As you can see, this is, uh, this is all his gubbins for his uh, ground source heat pump. So fantastic bit of kit there. So we need to uh, do that justice and it was just as good a job with the solar install. Uh, we do happen to have this uh, board, has been recently done. Um, so there's a few spare ways in there that we could make use of uh, for the EV charger and uh, other bits. Um, but where we're planning on putting our gear is basically gonna be on this wall. We're gonna be, these units are coming out anyway. Uh, apparently he's, he's getting rid of them. So we've got this, this wall, we'll have, to, we'll have to take them wall units off. So that wall's gonna be ours. Uh, we'll have the Tesla power wall, two inverters. The gateway, there's no room for it over there. So I think the gateway will have to go here as well. Um, and that's all of that bit. And then the Zappy, oh, we've got the, uh, the Eddy, which will go somewhere on there, I'm not sure yet. And then the Zappy, I think he's gonna put over here somewhere, either there or or there, wherever, wherever we can get that, or, or that side, whatever. So yeah, we've got our work cut out, but it's, it's, uh, it's an exciting job, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot involved, there's a lot to it, some good quality products, and uh, we're making good progress. And there's, I should have said yesterday, actually, I never mentioned this, but um, there's only me and, and, and the apprentice, who's also my son, uh, on this job so far. And the reason being, I know it's a massive job, usually we'd have a bit of a squad, but what we've done this time is because it's it's like the 16th, 15th of December now, so we're on the lead up to Christmas. We were going to start this in the new year, but because we've got some days where we can jump on this and jump off it, we said to the customer, why don't we just make use of them days? We'll come on it so, and, you know, make make headway. So we're, we're ahead of schedule so that in the new year, uh, there's no pressure. You know, we can, we're, we're well on with it. Uh, plus, we're going uh, skiing in the middle of January. So it's nice to just get ahead of, ahead of schedule. Um, and, and so there's no pressure. So that's why we're just, there's just the two of us and look what we've achieved in one day. We've got all the panels, uh, all the, the brackets on, half the rails and just finished the rails off by up past nine this morning. So going, going great guns. Um, so anyway, we're going to uh, take a look at these and we'll, uh, we'll show you how to install these solar edge optimizers. Right guys, uh, we're doing well so far. So we've got all of our solar edge optimizers fixed um, and we're gonna connect them together shortly. But uh, what I'll just show you quickly is on the top of every optimizer, you get a little peel off barcode, which I've just done a quick plan here. That's, that's the roof there. And we've got our 11 rows and that's from top left 
all the way along. So SolarEdge do have a, um, an app for this, it's called SiteMapper. Um, but for speed, I've just done that, and then I will put it onto SiteMapper later. So now we're gonna just get our string cables across from the loft. Um, as soon as we've done that, we can start putting the panels in. So exciting times, but I'd like to try and get, I think it's a tall ask like, uh, to try and get all 44 done today, this afternoon, but we'll see, there's only two of us. <laughs> um, but we'll see how we get on, you never know. It'd just be nice if it stopped bloody raining. And the sun's out now, look at that view. Beautiful view. I've worked in worse places. Anyway, let's get cracking. Right, so we're uh, doing really well here, guys. Um, obviously, we've got our first row on, and then halfway through the second. So yeah, we'll just put this panel in. Leo's just gonna connect, connect the optimizer in underneath. And once he's done that, we just lay it in place, align it up, make sure all these lines are exactly right. Yeah, that looks good. And Leo's just gonna screw the, the mid clamp down. That's it. Pass me the drill. So that's it. So that's how easy it is to put the panel in. And uh, to be honest, that's like your reward. Putting the panels in, to me, is the reward for all that hard work getting your brackets in and your rails and all that difficulty measuring out. Putting the panels in, as you can see, is absolute doddle. Um, so that's the reward. So yeah, it's getting to, it's uh, about half past two. Uh, so we'll be losing light soon, which is a shame. Because if, if it wasn't for that, if it was summertime, we'd have all these on tonight. But we're not gonna go pushing ourselves and, and working in the dark. We'll just, we're gonna finish this second row Oh, by the way, I've also tested the first rows on with all the optimizers. I've tested them now uh, at the end of the string. I've just got them inside the loft at the minute. Um, and basically I'm looking for one volt per optimizer. So we've got 11 optimizers on one string. So we had 11.1 volts. I'm doing that just to make sure before we go any further that all the optimizers are wired correctly and the panels are connected correctly. Good morning, uh, this is day three of this uh, solar install in SEMA, 44 panel job, and it's bloody freezing. Uh, that wind really makes a difference. So we're gonna have to get cracking and try and warm up a bit. But as you can see, last night, yesterday, we managed to finish uh, two rows. So we're halfway there, we've got 22 panels up. We've got 22 to go down here. Last night, we just covered all the, uh, the MC4 connectors up from the optimizers as well with poo bags, <laughs> so they come in quite handy for things like that, don't they, as well. We've got the panels on the roof, we put, pulled them up last night, and we're just gonna get cracking. I know Leo's dying to get going because we're both freezing cold. So yeah, we'll catch you back later when we've uh, got these two rows done. Right, that's it, we're done. We've got all 44 panels up, and it's only about half past 10 in the morning on the third day, so we've done absolutely fantastically well. I'm really, really pleased. Uh, the, I think it looks fantastic. The customer is well happy, um, which is which is good. All I need to do now is just go downstairs in the loft and just check that this final string is all connected right with the optimizers. Um, and then we're gonna start putting the bird mesh on, which will only take us a couple of hours. So we're just well on with the bird mesh now. Our super apprentice, Leo, is the bird mesh expert. He's flying along. How are we getting on, Leo? Nice and sunny now, getting a tan. All right, so he's just going along with this blackbird mesh. The customer had a preference of black with the black panels, so yeah, it's gonna look, oh, it's looking smart, that. If I do say so myself. 
So we've just got to, along that edge, up, and then obviously along the top. Yeah, along the bottom's taking a little longer because obviously you've got, to, like Leo's doing there, you've got to cut round the rail nice and tight so the birdies can't get in. But yeah, it's nice and mild now, sun's come out. To get the drone out, have a look at the panels from above. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the first part of this solar installation. And we've covered the installation of all the panels on the roof. Next episode, we're gonna be covering all of the aspects of what goes on in the garage. Installing the power wall, the EV charger, the inverters. There's a lot to do. Uh, running the DC cables in, there's gotta be a trench dug for that. Uh, and we're also gonna be talking a lot more about the components, why we've chosen them. So thank you so much for watching so far. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button and maybe even give us a cheeky little subscribe. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.